Okay, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I fed them some live baby brine trim, so there's a lot of crapola in the water here. Uh, this is just a tank of uh, the Russian red lace snakeskins fry. Uh, there is one larger female in there. Uh, she just had fry, so I tossed her in here so she's out of the way. And there's a lot of uh, water sprite in here, thin leaf water sprite. And uh, that's not a dead fish down there. It's just some, uh, I guess something under the tank, basically, that's showing up as dirt or a line. I guess there's uh, a little too much junk in here to show it. It's another tank of uh, just Russian red lace snakeskin fry. And uh, there is one larger female in there somewhere because she just had uh, fry that should be at the top. Probably somewhere up there, I think. Well, there's some in there. And a little oddly, I've never gotten any albino fry. Uh, and I mentioned that because there's a newborn one. Because when I first got them from uh, the ATFG guy in Thailand, the first batch had a couple of uh, albino uh, fry in it, which was kind of cool. But there's a ton of fry in here. So at some point when they start growing a little bit, I'll take the larger ones out first, put them in their own tank. Uh, I had to do it this way because I really don't have enough space to, I had to just run a, a 10 gallon tank of just each fry drop. Uh, the females, which I'll show next, are all uh, sisters so it doesn't really matter to me uh, what I'm doing with uh, the groups of fry. So this was from uh, Mike Burns. What is the longest sentence in the world? I do. I do. Oh how true is that for anybody that uh, was married and had to get divorced. And you'll, you'll figure it out. All right, I will uh, get to some other stuff next and be right back. All right, I'll show the breeders next. But what I wanted to show is uh, I do get a few snakeskin males with no pattern at all. And in Philip Shaddock's book, one of them, he referred to these, I think, as T-Rose guppies or something like that. But you can see the... Uh, Overall shape of the fish is fantastic. They even get the uh, kind of characteristic black dot, which I've never been able to remove from the snakeskins. Once in a while, I'll get one that doesn't have the dot. But here you can kind of see how beautiful. Nice long dorsal, nice wide, thick tail, which is pretty uniform with a light shade of, of uh, red slash orange. But nice, very nice. And this one, if I can get him to keep swimming, is about nine months old and uh, just a fantastic looking fish. And no pattern at all. And very little red except for the dorsal and the caudal peduncle area. But it's a heck of a uh, nice fish. So what I usually end up doing with the uh, ones I cull is I use them in crosses. And by doing that in the past, I found that uh, the snakeskin line is X and Y linked, meaning the males carry the snakeskin line uh, or the gene, and the females do. And even the ones that don't get the pattern, if I use them in a cross, they will uh, have male fry that have the snakeskin pattern. You can see it's a very large fish, very cool really uh, like these a lot and uh, all the fish that I'll be showing and, and in most of my almost all my videos were born in my tanks uh, the original ones I got from ATFG two years ago have uh, you know passed away obviously so I just want to show these because it's it's unusual to get two distinct uh, things out of a strain and uh, I did get that once before and Philip Shattuck actually put it in one of his books 
Uh, I used to get, I had a line of half black blues years ago that also threw absolutely fantastic looking blue deltas. Some. So I would get some of each, which was really weird because you wouldn't think you would get that. And uh, I think yeah, I sent him a couple pictures. He used at least one in the book. He mentioned me by name, so it was very cool. And uh, I forget which book. He had about six or seven of them. So why didn't Han Solo enjoy his steak? Because it was chewy. It was chewy. That's actually not awful. That's not bad. All right, what the heck am I showing next? All right, now these are older breeders. Let's see if I can get them to show up. Now, this is like the happiest male guppy on earth. He's in with, uh, I think it's five female guppies. Obviously, red leg snakeskins. Let's see if we can get him on here. If he would like to turn around. Come on, buddy. So, trying to just get so you can see the pattern on him. Because it's very, very intricate. And so the lace tail, and there you can see the pattern. Very nice, very cool fish. So he's about nine months old. Uh, all the females are identical. They are sisters. Uh, they all look pretty full, so there will be more fry soon. Now, I've, I've really only sold, I think, one trio about two years ago of the Russian red lace snakeskins. Uh, I may start selling some, I'm not sure, but I paid about a hundred bucks or more plus shipping to get the, the original trio. So if I do sell them, they're not gonna be cheap. And you really can't get these anymore unless you buy them from somebody like me that bought them and kept the line going. Because as far as I know, ATFG, which I think was a, a group of guppy breeders in Thailand, I think it stood for all Thailand fancy guppies. Uh, and they don't sell fish anymore. And after COVID, I think they moved on to uh, some other way to support their families. It's pretty sad, but uh, they, a lot of them got ripped off from unscrupulous trans shippers that popped up and they lost their fish and they lost their money and uh, they had to find something else to do. So I'm very happy I have this line still. And this tank has a couple of sprigs of thin leaf water sprite. And I'll try to get one more shot of this guy if I can. And they are eating some live baby brine shrimp. Okay, he's not cooperating. You think he would, but he's not. I think. Might be able to get him to move a little bit. Come on, dude. Anyway, these are fantastic fish. I have uh, uh, two tanks of breeders. This is one of them. They're in a uh, photo tank for now. But their regular tank is a 10-gallon tank. And I usually end up moving the, uh, the breeders out once they have a, a lot of fry, which those two tanks I showed in the beginning of the video uh, were the ones they initially came out of. And they had so many fry, I had to move them out. All right, he's not really cooperating. And this is the other group of breeders. They're slightly younger. They're actually uh, the grown fry from that group I just showed. And very, very nice fish. And it's always tough to get the pattern to show up under the LED lighting, but I think we can get that on here there you can see it and a fantastic dorsal tail and like I said every female looks the same these are all full of fry it is uh, I believe it's two trios one two three four yep and uh, super super nice fish I love these fish one of my favorite strains and excellent so that's more of like a half thumb type dorsal, not really an IFGA type dorsal, which would uh, have to go further into the tail. Uh, but
but still a nice fish. That one's gone, but he has a better dorsal. Now, what happens with these, uh, I really should have showed some younger ones so you can see that the, uh, that the dorsal stays kind of short until about four, three, four months of age. And then it starts to grow in length. And you can see that this guy has very, very nice long dorsal. So, excellent stuff. So, anyhow, I'll try and see if I can get one more clear shot of these guys. Beautiful fish. The females have very, very little hint of red in the uh, dorsal. And not the tail, but just the caudal peduncle. Uh, that male's tail is uh, kind of hiding the, that female in the corner's uh, tail. So you can see there's, there's just about no red in them, just kind of hints of it. So I'm very careful when I select breeders. Uh, all the females are going to have to look the same. And the males, I just go with the ones with the nicest snakeskin pattern, a uh, nice lace pattern in the tail and hopefully thicker bodies uh, it's hard to tell but the bodies on these two males are thicker than the male that they uh, came from Let's see if i can get him on here his body is not that thick even though he's three months older so i use them for a couple of more drops and then that'll be it but since the females are still very viable I'll put a young, couple of younger males in with them, but that's not, yeah, probably in about a month. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments, or you can send me an email. I put my email address in the video description all the time. And if you're interested in buying the high protein food, which is over 54% protein and 15% fat. Uh, you can just you can either buy it off of eBay or Aquabid. My seller ID is uh, G R E Y, which is my last name, and D for Doug. So it's G R E Y D, and that's on both websites. It is cheaper if you buy it from me. It's uh, 14 bucks, including shipping, and I include a free gift of a label for my channel or a magnet and a nice size bag of uh, free assorted flakes so you get a bunch of free stuff along with the food and it's cheaper it's a uh, 14 direct for me so anyhow uh, thanks for watching and I'll be back with another video in the next day or two thank you